Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Walsall reporter, Mr. Joe Massey, the beautiful Essington training ground. It's Lovely. good to be back, isn't it? God, it feels like we're five minutes ago, doesn't ah. it? Absolutely crazy. Where's this? Where's it gone? I'm just saying, this is every footballer's dream, isn't it? This is the office. Beautiful. Few days. Absolutely looks amazing there. Grass is immaculate. Sun's out. Wow. Well, Gonna do a lot of running though, so maybe not ideal. But Sun, sun's out. Your, your gun's out this afternoon. No, I haven't got any guns, mate. Okay. Well, I tell, we, we've talked to some of the big guns though. Uh, the new Saddler signings. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Um, spoke, it's been a really like select this morning, hasn't it? You've been impressed. Oh, about... I can't believe it compared to Wolf. It's unbelievable. Bang, 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 bang. Just uh, one after the other. Got here at quarter to ten, did we? Yeah. All interviews done by quarter past ten. Unbelievable. Uh, media team here, superb. Media team, superb. superb. Daniel Efficient. Briggs. Efficient. Uh, so we started with Andy Cook. Yes. Um, I think Fed say he's itching to get going would be the best way of putting mm -hmm. it. Um, he knows this is a big shot for him. He, I mean, he's spent his whole career in non-league, but he arrives with a lot of pressure on his shoulders <laughs> purely because of the amount of goals he's scored yeah. um, over the last couple of years. I mean, I think it was 28 for Tranmere last season, yeah. um, 25, 24 the year before, and 20 plus the year before that. So he's scored an awful lot of goals in the last three years. Delighted to be in the Football League, and he's just delighted to get going, I think it's fair to say. He just wants to start playing games and start scoring goals for Wolves, so he's just determined to see this opportunity so I mean, I mean like you say from from fans point of view they'll, they'll see those ridiculous stats i mean they are championship manager stats aren't they, they really? are championship manager stats, but, yeah. but you've got to curtail expectations as well you've got to let him let him bed in don't you as well you do have to let him bed in but i think he said said to us there he's, a, he's an aggressive player mm. he wants to be front footed he wants to he just wants to get going i think yeah. i think he, he's willing to shoulder this burden really he's got the number nine on the back of his shirt for next season he, he, he knows everyone's looking to him for goals i think this team's going to be set up to get the best out of him he's got the ammunition now we hope We've with Sally Ismail, Josh Janelli coming in. So exactly. I think he wants. To, he thinks he's very confident he can make a flying start to the season. And that's what Wolves fans want to see. And if, if he can start the season on with scoring goals, and who yeah. knows, he, he, he might do it again. You never know, because I genuinely believe that gap between non-league and League One is mm. decreasing all the time. Yeah. I mean, he's been a professional footballer now for a couple of years. It's not like in the past where these players would go from part-time to full-time. So mm -hmm. he knows what it's all about. And I think I think everyone's confident he can make a big impact. I got the impression with you speaking to him there, he just wants to get, a, he wants a game tomorrow night, he, he, really, doesn't he? The, he just yeah, wants yeah. to get on. He doesn't want to do this pre-season missing about. He just wants to get going, get scoring. We asked him, didn't we, if he would be bothered that uh, England could be potentially playing on that day against <laughs> yeah. Russia. He was like, no, I just want to play myself. Just want to play myself. He just wants to play football. Of course he does, yeah. Absolutely. And that's what he wants. It's refreshing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? He's desperate to prove himself. He's wanted this chance for a long time. He's had mm. offers before. Uh, he had offers in the summer, sorry, not to join Walsall or elsewhere, but it was the Football League, League One, is a big opportunity for him. He's determined to take it. So, yeah, the lad definitely, definitely wants a season to start. Next up. Next up, Josh Janelli. Yes. Um, really nice lad. Um, a big season for him as well. He's, mm. he's, he's going to come in, you'd imagine, compete with Zellius Man, Kieran Morris for a place on the wings. Did okay in there in his first loan spell. Took him a little bit of time to settle, but we saw when he was there, he's got outstanding delivery. The, the lad can really, really cross the ball. And sure. you'd imagine with Andy Cook up front, that could be, well, it's a, it could be a really lethal partnership mm -hmm. going forward. So. It's a big move for him. He's, he's been at loan. He's been at Burnley. Sorry, his sure. other moves have been on loan. He hasn't got that comfort to go back to now. He is a Walsall player, which is good, I think, isn't it, for his his point of view that he is it's his permanent club. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he knows he's 21 years old. He knows he's mm. got a kick on. Big plus for him is he's local. He's Coventry born. He was at Shrewsbury when he when he was a teenager. So he settled in the area. He's moved back home, and he's, he wants to put down roots and prove he is a League One mm. footballer. So I think I think for for Ginelli, it's a very very good move, similar to Ismail. But before we spoke to Ismail, we spoke to Chris Dunn, didn't we? Ah, there you go, okay. There you go. Uh, Chris Dunn. Big, big, big man. Big man. Big boy. Big, yeah, huge. Uh, another one eager to prove a point, really. He yeah. has been in the Football League, but he, he dropped out of it at Wrexham. Delighted to be back in the Football League. The big thing with him is his relationship with Dean Keats, I think. Um, Wrexham kept 22 league clean sheets last season, a club mm -hmm. record. I think he was in goal for 16 of them, so the vast majority. He knows how Dean Keats organises a side, how he gets these sort of uh, this defensive unit, how he works on that. So he, that's a, it's a, just a shrewd addition, really, on and off the field, I think, Chris Dunn. And yeah. Liam Roberts is probably going to be, we all know Liam Roberts is going to be the number one goalkeeper next season. He, he, he was outstanding towards the end of the campaign. But Chris Dunn, really nice nice lad mm -hmm. and also did a bit of goalkeeping coaching at Wrexham as well I mean he's just said to us he wants to play of course he wants to play yeah of course yeah he's 30 years old he's a footballer he wants to play but he will push Liam Roberts all the way and I think he'll be almost a bit of a mentor to him that as well that experience is going to help him too that experience will be massive so you look at the talent Liam Roberts has got he's got Chris Dunn to lean on he's got Michael Oakes to lean on who had, of course had a fantastic career with Wolves and Villa um, I mean it's just it's a, it's, a, it's a great platform isn't it and if, if Liam Roberts was to have a dip in form Chris Dunn can come in with vast experience mm -hmm. but fingers crossed we're going to see Liam Roberts just go from strength to strength because he is he really is a talented lad 
And then finish off with Mr. Fan favourite, Zali Ishmael. Zali Ishmael, the one player probably all Walsall fans wanted to see sign this summer, and he. he so when did he sign? What day we today? Thursday. He signed on Tuesday, yeah. in for first day on Wednesday. He's still smiling now, he hasn't stopped smiling. Still smiling now. In a, in a way, similar to Janelli, really. I mean, we all know how talented Ismail is. Mm. He's got so much ability. For a League One player, he's ridiculously talented, really. His ability to beat a man is outstanding. But he came through at Wolves, um, and, he, and since then he's been on loan an awful lot. He had that move at Bury. He's, he has been a bit here, there, and everywhere. He's, sure. had, he's had a lot of clubs. He's still 24 years old. What he needs to do now is settle down um, and produce his best football. Mm -hmm. He did that in his loan spell here. Um, he told us then he wanted to come back after that initial loan spell, but Bury wanted to take him back to Gig Lane. But he's, he's from Wolverhampton. He was from Albania originally, but he's, <laughs> he's, he's lived, lived in Wolverhampton since he was seven years old. He's yeah. back home like Josh Janelli is, and I think that is massive for these two lads they can i think Zelly said he lives 12 minutes away from the mm. training ground so he mm. can never be late can he so <laughs> It's huge for these lads, they're at home, they can come in every day, I think they're going to really enjoy being there and I think that will get the boast out of both Zelle and Josh Janelli. With, with, with the, these type of players, Zelle, like you say, and Josh Janelli, it Dean keeps the right person to, 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 to be coaching them, to mentoring, maybe unfulfilled potential and he's the person who can deliver that? I think it, the, the brilliant thing about Keats is he's got a clear idea how he wants to play the game. I think he knows exactly what he wants from every, every player in, the, in each position and mm -hmm. I think he's going to get them so well drilled and they're going, I think they're going to know exactly what to expect. Exactly what is expected of them, sorry, week in, week out. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think it's the perfect fit, really. I think Walsall is, is a family friendly club. Yeah. These players, are, they're going to be welcomed in, they're, they're, they're close to home. I think they re really will feel settled in. And if they're happy, they're going to play their best football. And I genuinely believe they will be happy yeah. here. Final, last and definitely not least, we spoke to Dean Keats. I mean, he I'm sure he's glad to get his first full pre season with, with his Walsall team. Yeah, um, first day yesterday. Mixing it up, it's not, he said it's not like it used to be, it's not all running bits and bobs like mm. that, training. They did do a lot of fitness work yesterday, but a lot of it was with the ball as well. He wants players to enjoy training. The vast majority of things they do will be with the ball, which will be yeah. music to a lot of Walsall fans' ears. Um, yeah, and he talk, just touched on a few things as well. There are a couple of try lists here. Um, we don't know who they are yet. Um, in terms of incomings, he has worked on a few more deals. He admitted the centre back is now a top priority. Yeah, I think, of course, I think everyone, yeah. everyone knows that really. Also mentioned there could be a loan potentially in the pipeline. So he did say it's been a quiet summer. It's been a quiet summer everywhere. I think if you look at a lot of clubs, um, teams like just off the top of my head, Blackburn, Swindon, they haven't made many signings at no. all. But I don't think Blackburn have made any. Swindon have made one maybe. So Walsall have made four now. Mm -hmm. um, so they have been a lot busier than, than a lot of clubs. But it's this time now where players, free agents, they're suddenly they're sat at home when sure. their mates are in training, they're at clubs. Yeah. And they had that sort of window in the summer where they had the power, they might have had a few options, but, mm -hmm. but now they can see everyone's in pre-season training and they're thinking, oh, hang on. phone's not ringing, Joe. The phone's not ringing. Well, if I've got to play Fortnite again. They're panicking, and aren't they? If the so it's a video game, ringing. by the way. It's a big popular F video Fortnite. game. Fortnite. Fortnite, yeah. what, what, what the kids play, apparently, these Lingard days. Lingard did a celebrate. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what no, it is. No, I don't. Do you play it? No, not at all. No, I've got time. Mario Kart's mine. Mario Kart's mine, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I think this the, sh the shift has happened now. I think players are starting to get a little bit edgy. Mm -hmm. They want clubs all of a sudden. So I think over the next week or so, we'll see things everywhere picking up. And then hopefully maybe one or two more additions before we'll also play Russia a week tomorrow. A week tomorrow, like you said, that, that's when that's when they kick off. Um, so they've got they've got quite a few days here. What are they going to be working on? I know that, that Dean Keats mentioned a position change but for, for one of the players. Oh, Liam Kinsella, yeah, he, he mentioned that to us uh, last week. He obviously played right back last season, sort of in competition with Nicky Devlin. But Keats sees him more, he, he's always played in midfield before that year and um, plays in midfield for the Republic of Ireland youth and Keats has said he, he always felt Kinsella was a central midfielder he thought he'd push him back there this season but having spoken to Liam Kinsella mm. as well he wants to go back there as well so have you, have you seen that in his game though he's, in the, he's probably more of a midfielder than a, than, a, than a defender I think he's so technically good yeah that I think he, he is a midfielder I mean he didn't he never let anyone down at, at right back I mean that is Liam Kinsella in a nutshell he, sure. he gives you his all every week he, mm -hmm. he, he's, he, he's so he is a very very consistent player but for me technically he is, he is a central midfielder I think that's where we'll sort of get the best out of him and of course Dean Keats was a central midfielder so if Liam Kinsella is midges are everywhere, well, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. It's like England. Unbelievable. Um, but I think that's a massive opportunity for Kinsella to learn from Dean Keats. Um, so he's it's a, it's a, it's a big option there. 
um, ahead of the new season. And you've got someone who can adapt as well, you know, if, if he needs to go back to right back, he can switch in, he can play in a variety of different formations, which is always a bonus. Which, especially when you've got a, a squad the size of Walsall's on a budget that they yeah. use, and they need that versatility, they need players to be able to drop into different positions. Keats mentioned there, Zeli Ismail, he will be, he, he is a winger, he's going to play on the wing where he was here in his first loan spell, but when he came back with Bury to the Banks of Stadium, he played in a front two, and Keats said it's an option. Mm. Um, it is an option, he does see him as a winger, he sees him flying down the wing, getting fans on the edge of their seats, but if he needs him to play in a front two, he can. Same with Liam Kinsella, he can play central midfield if he needs his film at right back he can and in, in Walsall's squad with the numbers they've got that is a, such a big plus. How many players do you think between now and let's say the start of the season do you think they need to, to, to sign because it's still a thin squad isn't it? It's, a, it's, it's a, uh, still a light squad, if it was down to me I'd like to see two centre backs come in, I think okay. I think Keats has said their centre back is a priority, I think two probably in that position, maybe like a, a really experienced head and then maybe a younger lad in on loan to compete with mm. John Guffrey and whoever came in um, to go in alongside him. Personally, I'd like to see two strikers. Um, I think it's, at the moment we've got um, Cook, Bakayoko and Candlin. We understand Bakayoko's future. We're not sure if he's going to be here next season. So it'd be nice to see two strikers come in come in there. I think central midfield is okay. A few fans want central midfielders, but we've got Kinsella in there. Mm. I think I think Kieran Morris can do a job in there as well. Sure. But there might maybe another winger as well. But I think two centre-backs and two strikers and the squad would be in, in, be in good shape, really, heading into the new campaign. Also, players are back at the beautiful Essington for the latest Saddlers news. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.